New at four, a Murraysville man is facing charges for allegedly dealing prescription drugs out of his business and his home. Police say federal DEA agents watched Brian Schlegel for months buy and sell pain pills out of Philly's pretzel factory on William Penn Highway in Monroeville. That's where Katie Kay's Shelley Boards joins us live now with the details on this story. Shelley. Well, imagine coming here to get some pretzels at this drive through window and, if you're interested, some pain pills, too. That's what investigators say happened here. But to find out that these things are going on, uh, not just in Monroeville, but right next to me, it's a little hard to believe. Investigators say this man, Brian Schlegel, was selling prescription pain pills out of his house and out of his business, Philly's Pretzel Factory on William Penn Highway in Monroeville. It's alleged Schlegel was selling oxycodone right through the drive through window of the store. Neighboring business owners call it insane. I thought things were done a little bit more on the down and out than, you know, in a business location, let alone the owner of the business. Officers from the Monroeville Police Department and federal DEA agents say they've been watching Schlegel for months. It all came to a head last night when he was arrested here in the parking lot of Spitzer Toyota on William Penn Highway, where police say they watched him buy 240 pain pills for $14,000. The man he bought the drugs from was also arrested. We broke the news to customers who showed up here at the pretzel shop, which is closed today. I'm 58 years old and I never, you know, never dreamt you could come to a pretzel place and get drugs. I'm glad I didn't buy from the guy. Ooh, that's true. I, I, I don't that's want to support true. him and contribute to his. Schlegel posted $100,000 bond today, so we stopped by his house to see if he wanted to talk. We were greeted by this unidentified woman who asked us to leave. Just wanted to see if anybody wanted to make a comment. No, Thank you. Is he still in jail? Schlegel is facing multiple charges, including possession with the intent to deliver and tampering with evidence. Reporting live in Monroeville, Shelley Bortz, KDKA News.